All right, guys, so I got the trailer almost done. I got the front of the building almost done. It sucks that that J channel is white on the inside. You can't see it as much where I got it pressed right up tight, but you can still see it. That's dumb. Anyways, I got a pull. <laughs> I didn't bend these enough. It's been a while, eh? It's been a while. You can see the front. You can tell I started on this wall with the J channel, and then as I came around, I started to get smarter and bending it down, but I got a machine that can roll this so it doesn't ripple, but I just don't give a damn, I suppose. I left the lights on in here, trying to get rid of that piece of shit. So, this paint, I have not used this paint before, and I tried to put thinner in it, okay? My gun would not spray it without it being thinned. And the first thinner I put in it <laughs> created a chemical reaction that damn near lit the metal on fire of the can that I was spraying out of an old spray gun. So I got some really good finish and I got some shitty finish. But this is just a trailer and I don't really care. And I got some drips I see somewhere. However, she's, uh, it works. I noticed one thing yesterday when I was spay spraying, of course. Uh, that can't be there because the boat has to touch here. So I might just add another pillar here. Pssht. So we'll see. But this is what happens when you don't have a, you know, I didn't plan nothing i just started building it but this paint is chassis um paint it's for restorations and it costs a lot of money and i've had it forever but man it really 99 bucks for a gallon so that's what i used i build jet black brush preventer but this thing's gonna be in the water a lot so i figured well A spring the spring was really the only thing that was rusty on here and man that paint is it's not even been 24 hours man and that shit is on there so here's what we got i haven't figured out what the numbers are on it yet i got four full eight nine hour days on it that's a fact um all I got to do is string these lights through the lights and the plate holder. So them just go, you know, right on here like this. Let me show you. Worked out pretty good. I mean, it's, it's not a hundred percent, but for what I need it for, instead of paying five, $6,000 for a scissor trailer or getting a used one that was beat the piss here's what we got so i left these channels open so i can just run the wire down and then where's this stupid thing here's the plate thing it's probably getting knocked off i'm sure and it's right glued on there i'm happy with it though overall And that's all that matters. And compared to the other trailer I had Jerry rigged up in an hour or two, this thing's great. I notice I got some, man, that steel likes to move on you. I don't care. Uh, but not bad for my first scissor trailer, I'll tell you. I mean, things could be different. A lot of my issues were building it off the frame up. If I had a long table that was flat, 
things would be 900% different, but so what it is. Oh yeah, I put that up to my, uh, my other lift. It's up, but it's not plugged in. I need to get a line and this and that, but eventually, so progress. Oh, I moved these suckers from right there to over here. That was a hell. I moved that up. So man, I had a spurt of energy the other day. But now I'm going to be down for another couple days, I guarantee you. So, man, I really like having the room through here that I didn't have before because of those damn things. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll show you a video of it actually working, putting it in the water next.